today's super blast is called cream of broccoli from page 135 from the neutral bullet rx series so i made some some changes to the soup i've had this several times and i'm going to show you how i make this wonderful treat so in the original book or the original recipe rather it tells you to steam some broccoli two bunches blah 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 i don't have that kind of time what I did was I brought a bag of Trader Joe's organic florets and I'm putting four cups of frozen broccoli. Then I took um, one small onion or I believe this is 38 grams of raw onion. If you're not big on the onion taste, just use half the amount, which is about 19 grams. One small potato or 81 grams. It is cooked and peeled. And three fourth teaspoon of Himalaya salt. And one fourth teaspoon of black pe pepper. Peppa. Your last ingredients is two cups of plain almond milk unsweetened. You're gonna place this on the base. Press, press the G. It will go from green to red, and that's it. Seven minutes, is it. there's a soup. All right, soup is nice and done. Now keep in mind, because it was frozen ingredients, it may not be as hot as normal, but if you want it hotter, just put it on the stove. This green color is just beyond seductive. So with that being said, it's taste test time. Tastes like broccoli with onion. Oh, mm, 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 mm. Oh my gosh! I cannot wait for my boyfriend to try this. Oh my goodness! Now, one of my coworkers had a concern that she doesn't like using white potatoes. So. You could use either sweet potatoes or white yams, and if you want to see how that comes out, because I've never tried it, check out my next post. And um, don't forget to sub, like, and share. And until my next post, get it out. Enjoy. Mmm.